It's exam question time. Woo! Your favourite time, I know. Specifically though, today we're going to be looking at how to answer a four mark explain one way exam question from paper one of the Edexcel 9 to 1 GCSE history exam. That was a mouthful. Also, a quick disclaimer, if you're doing any other exam board, then the help I give in this video is not of use to you because the way your exam board want you to answer exam questions will be different. But for those of you who are taking Edexcel, what topic you're doing, crime and punishment, medicine, warfare, doesn't matter. Though the example I'll use will be crime and punishment, because that's what I did at GCSE, so it's what I know about. Alright, let's get on with this. When I answer exam questions, I like to have structures, because that way, so long as you have the right knowledge, you can basically guarantee yourself most of the marks. I'm sure you've heard of the very basic structure that everyone's known about since year 7, PEE. -E. Point Evidence Explain, or Point Example Explain as I've sometimes heard it called. We're going to use something like this, but mix it up a little. For an Explain One Way question, we will use PEEL, which stands for Point Evidence Explain Evidence Explain Link. Got it? Good. First of all, we need a point. What is a point? In this case, it's what we're going to talk about in our response to the question. So. For example, if our question was, explain one way in which the treatment of those accused of witchcraft in the early modern period was similar to the treatment of conscientious objectors in the 20th century, then to answer that question, we could talk about how both conscientious objectors and people accused of witchcraft were isolated from society, so their isolation would be our point. To make life even easier, I would always start the first sentence in the same way as well, as getting that first sentence down is often one of the hardest bits. The examiner doesn't really care if all your answers start in the same formulaic way, even on the questions where spag is marked, so don't worry. I would start any answer to this question something like this. One way the insert first topic from question is similar stroke different to insert other topic from question is, and then you make your point. So for us, that would be one way the treatment of those accused of witchcraft in the early modern period is similar to the treatment of conscientious objectors is their isolation from society. Alright, so now we've got a point, it's time for our next step, evidence. In order to explain what evidence is, I'm going to introduce you to a new acronym, because I think it's quite a good one. This acronym got used so much whilst I was doing GCSE that it's a word in its own right in my head now, so credit to the head of history at my school for that one. This wonderful acronym is SPEND, Statistics, Places, Events, Names and Dates. Essentially all that specific information that you need in order to get marks. How this relates to evidence is that your evidence is your relevant spend information. So in our answer, we're going to talk about the first half of the question, witchcraft first. For us, some nice relevant spend could be that it was common belief that witches had made a pact with the devil in return for magical powers, such as the ability to fly and to make people and farm animals sick and die. But there are plenty of other options you could choose as well. Now we have some evidence, it's time to explain. In this case, explain means showing how this spend information links to what we are talking about in the question. People accused of witchcraft being isolated from society. So we could say something like this. This association with the devil meant people were very afraid of witches and thus stayed away from anyone accused of witchcraft, causing them to become isolated from the rest of society. So that's half the question done. Now it's time to address the other half of the question, conscientious objectors. To show that we are now switching to the other topic, we could write, in the case of conscientious objectors, and then put our evidence. So we need some evidence to do with them. Some good spend about conscientious objectors might be, many were given white feathers by members of the public as a symbol of shame for refusing to fight in the First World War. Then, as before, we need to explain how this links to them being isolated. High casualty rates in the war meant many people were personally affected by losses, and thus, thought it was unfair that some people seemingly got out of their duty to fight. This built resentment to the point where people did not want to associate with conscientious objectors, and many became isolated from society. Now for the final step, link. All this step requires is another mindless formulaic sentence to make sure the examiner knows you've not gone off on too much of a tangent and are still answering the question. Therefore, one way in which, and then we repeat a huge chunk of the question and our point. 
The treatment of witchcraft in the early modern period was similar to that of conscientious objectors in the 20th century, was through their isolation from society. Boom, you're done. You should end up with one slightly oversized paragraph, like I have just here. It's important to reiterate also that this structure should work no matter what topic. So say for instance you're doing medicine through time and not crime and punishment, then this structure will work for you in your paper 1 question 3. Now all I can recommend is that you go away and practice. Go and write as many answers as you can and hassle your teacher forcing them to mark your answers until you get 4 out of 4 every time. That's what I did and I got grade 9, so it must work. Even if your teacher hates you afterwards. Mine doesn't hate me, I hope. If you want questions to practice on, then I'll leave some for crime and punishment in the description, and I'll attempt to find some for the other topics, but there'll probably be many more crime and punishment questions because, again, that's what I know about. Anyway, thanks for watching, don't forget to like, subscribe and tell all your friends. Also, if you found this video useful, please leave a comment and tell me what it is that's useful, as this is my first of this type of video and it would be good to know what works, but if you do also have any useful critique, then you can leave that too.